And so after having to take a much needed break, working on this target top, trying to get all this stuff situated, ran to the tag agency, had to get the tag for the Durango, and of course put in the order from a personalized tag to go on the vet. But man, I had to take a break because, as you can see, got this old screw off, which again, I'm going to kind of scuff that and uh, get all of this stuff touched up and repainted, all of this and some along the insides, get all of this stuff wiped down, all of that resprayed so it looks a whole lot better when I put it back on. But this side over here, like I said, this screw head fell off. Tried to get that out of there. Thought it was turning. And as you can see, it broke. So, I'm going to have to drill that out, give me another screw in there when my weather strip gets in so I can get that uh, in there the way it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to make sure that's screwed towards the top. <clears throat> I watched a couple videos to where guys uh, screwed their weather strip back in and it was down too far, so it was kind of pinching the weather strip. So if you were ever out in any elements, any weather, it's going to allow water to get in there. So, gotta fix that side. Um, man, that's really whack. But it's a part of building these cars, man. You know what I mean? You're gonna have bolts to break off. You're gonna have, of course, in my case, screws to break off. You're going to have parts that don't fit the way they're supposed to, and you're going to have to kind of finesse them to get things to go the way they're, just, uh, the way they're supposed to go. So comes with the job, man. Uh, as I kind of start making this video, getting the headliner to go on the way it's supposed to, onto the uh, kind of like the backing board, that was really no issue. So, And get this stuff sprayed so it looks better once I put it in there, which if I don't do that today... Maybe tomorrow, so that way it gives it time to set up and cure. We don't have to worry about getting any of that paint or any of that stuff on my headliner. So, which I'm not in a rush to get all that put back in there. So it may be next week sometime before I get that put back in there. But of course, the yow, it'll look like I painted it and dropped it back in there. Of course, with video editing and all that good stuff. Um, I also have to get the rest of my old weather strip out of there. Have to go get me a razor blade, a little scraper or whatnot to get all the rest of this out of there. Get all this adhesive out of there so I can prepare for my new ones to come in. Still at work, uh, snatched me a wire brush, uh, a couple of other tools, which like I said, I'll drop in the description, the uh, tool set that I got to uh, kind of help me clear out these channels. So I got most of this cleaned out. Now I'm just using my X-Acto knife here to get down up under this adhesive to help peel some of that back, which I got some of my chemicals to help get the rest of this uh, old adhesive off of there but also man what i am doing which you can try to kind of inspect to make sure that's clean she'll light to go up off in there and then you can kind of see down off in there at the bottom pretty well clean except for that one little spot top is decent i may have to go over that one more time may actually hit it with some sandpaper as well check this other side 
Get the hell off in there. It's, uh, it's pretty well clean. Need to scrape it a little bit more. But, uh, yeah. Finish kind of peeling this off how I'm using this X Acto knife. Some like. Get behind there and kind of peel up just a little bit and get it started. So that way, I ain't got to do a whole lot of work when it's time to use some chemicals. Just kind of get it up under there and pry it up. And once you get that part, Peel, go back to the edge instead of holding on and pulling it from here and get down closer. Kind of help pull that up. So yeah, these are gonna be good and clean, so that way I hadn't snatched my adhesive yet. So I'm not in too much of a rush. So I still plan on masking up a lot of this stuff and going over top of uh Inside, that's pretty well clean. Get this last little part off here in a minute. But I'm uh, probably hit this, wipe this down with some chemical or whatnot. And how this is all uh, a little bit faded, I'll probably hit all that with a little bit of, a little bit of matte paint. So therefore that doesn't look like that before I put my, my headliner back in there. So that's sitting back off in there waiting to go back up in here. So I'll probably mask up these areas like around my screw holes, give me some tape around there. Uh, finish scraping the rest of these areas off in here, get all that cleaned up, get all the rest of this old adhesive off of here. It's definitely a job, but from what I've seen, some people charge to uh, do this job charge it crazy amounts which again it's work as you can see all of the like the vacuum and sweep all of this stuff off the back of here it's getting that stuff all up out of the channel top and bottom channel i got stuff across my windshield on the hood but it'll be done it'll be done right it'll be sealed won't be no leaking from this which i just grabbed the uh weather stripping for the target top for right now i think with the rest of it i'm gonna just grab the whole set before i can do uh, this piece here that goes up around. I do it my way. Grab the dog on the Look this piece around here. See how all of that's all worn. And that's just one piece that goes from the bottom of the windshield all the way across the top to the other side. Um, the door weather strip. Around there, all of that stuff is old, so I'll be pulling all that. Of course, pulling my door panels off. Um, I've already started peeling the weather strip that goes around here. So I need this to go around the top, the doors, the uh, front windshield, and I'll probably redo the back as well. Cause it's a little, I mean, it's still in good shape, but I think it's torn on the uh, passenger side over there, so. Giving y'all a quick update, man. I've actually pulled these screws out and scraped around them and then put those screws back in there. Still got a little bit around there. But this side is pretty well done. As you can see down off in there. A little bit more. Barely any residue up in there anymore. Get that to focus. Top is pretty well clean. I may just have to blow that out. There just may be some more just kind of sitting in there. Some of the dust, like how this is up here. So I need to blow that out. This back side. Yeah, as you can see, channel's cleared out in there and up top. So this side's about ready. I kind of want to scuff sand this back here. Get that all together. Mask up this back here. Like I said, get all this wiped down, 
get it painted and then probably tomorrow sometime I'll probably uh try to get my adhesive and get my weather stripping in there but I'm gonna mask these up and probably shoot my paint on here get that touched up let it sit um spray some of my adhesive on the top before I put my headliner back in because that was just a little bit like around the edges you kind of see some of that residue around the edges and I think it was a little bit in the center but you can't really too much tell but they sprayed a little bit of adhesive to kind of help that headliner stay in there as you can see uh, some of that's right there around them edges so I'll probably hit that uh, put that headliner back in there after I get through touching her up and we're about done with this project all right man so first coat on there probably scuff it and go back over it again just in some of these areas that were uh, a little pale. Some of it's still kind of drying. Of course, I'm going to have to go back over, over there where it's fish iron, so I'll probably scuff that back down and go over it again. But, got all of the uh, adhesive and all of the old weather stripping out of here, out of those channels and all of that good stuff, so that should fit back in there perfectly, even though it looks a little scratched up. But you want all of this stuff clean when you go with the uh, go with the new weather stripping and the new uh, adhesive. You put that in there and makes it an easier process to get your weather stripping back in there to get that top and bottom channel back in there to get that weather strip to fit how it's supposed to. My only issue and problem that I'm going to have to deal with is the top of this on this side. Yeah, is the screw holes that go over here. Yeah, and I'm gonna scuff this back down. Just kind of went over to see what it is I have to deal with. So I'm gonna scuff this back wall and that top wall up there and get all of that smoothed out and then spray it one more time. But this screw came out, but this one here is one I had the issue with. As you can see, that's still kind of sticking out of there. So that screw broke off in there, so I'm either have to uh, create another hole or kind of file that down some and then even then make another hole. So I don't want to deal with all of that, so I'll probably have to put that screw a little bit higher uh, to make sure I get a, uh, a nice seal on there. I may put it at the same area, just move it back a little bit. We'll get it figured out one way or the other. All right, man. So we got one side in. Put that all put back off in the channel off in there. Top side looking pretty good. Let me get that to focus. Bam. So now we're just going to jump on the other side. I didn't get much footage of this side because I wanted to really get it down off in there not only that once you kind of get going i wasn't really too much thinking about the uh process of getting my record on making sure i got some footage but i'm gonna make sure to get some of the passenger side just trying to clean this up a little bit to kind of slice that back yeah, and then the uh, adhesive that I got, some nice 3M black super weather strip adhesive. As you can see, it says exceptional bond strength, firm bonds, gaskets, and seals. Doesn't take very much either. And how I did this side, which of course you'll be able to see uh, when I do the other side. How I did this side was I actually shot some along the bottom channel in the middle and then in the top channel where those grooves go, which I'll show you. Where these grooves here go in the top and in the bottom. Focus up a little bit more, there we go. Uh, in the top and in the bottom. Uh, put some in the bottom, put some in the top, put some along the middle, also put some on the weather strip. And then I used a brush to kind of brush it in, make it a little bit smoother so that way it didn't um, gum up in one area and have more adhesive in one area than it did in another. Uh, 
Once I brush that in there, brushed it along here, like I said, it already kind of start tacking up. So you don't have very much time, but like I said, it's some pretty good stuff because uh, it's actually holding all of this down, holding this to the target top as well as here, uh, which there's a screw that goes in there. But of course, this is the side where I couldn't get the screw out. So pretty much done the hard side um, already outside of doing this side over here. So this side should be a whole lot easier. But yeah, man, once I got that in there, um, I have some pry tools that I used um, that I ordered for pulling um, wheel wells, pulling those uh, little plastic keepers off. So this is what I use to kind of get this down off in that channel a little bit more. And just kind of push it with this hand and then with the other hand, force it down off in there and make sure it's off in there. Which again, as you can see, right off in there. Now that's off in there. And then over here on this side, got that to go off in there. As you can see, like I said, I don't know how good you can see the top, but it's pretty well sealed in there. I kind of want to see how that seals, but I may jump on this other side before I do that. So get that footage for y'all and let y'all check that out and see how that looks. And we'll go from there.
so they're a little tussling going over it a couple times we got everything in there the way it needs to be as you can see you got it nice and even all the way down you just want to make sure that that groove on your um, weather stripping goes back off in this groove right here and tucks up under there of course that's what this is if i can take the zoom in there yeah that's exactly what this is here which that goes all the way across fits in this channel which again once you buy your weather stripping you'll know what side is which and then of course i got my vice grips on there to kind of help tuck it into these corners while that adhesive cures um which of course your little diamond pattern side here will go towards your front um, and it'll actually point towards the uh, target top itself so it's a little hard to get them in there backwards uh, once you actually lay them out and see how the other ones are in there I would advise putting them on that side that they're supposed to go in and then that way you don't get them backwards but again it's kind of hard to get them backwards especially once you see where the point of this still uh, the point of this points towards the target top itself and that's how you get it in there like I see I got that on this side trying to keep that as close to this edge as possible so I don't have to really trim any of that off Got my screw to go on this side, so I don't have to worry about that either. And then the bottom side, see if I can get a nice view of how the bottom looks. All right, so put that all in there. I don't really like how that's kind of coming up a little bit. I may have to uh, put a little adhesive on there to kind of even it out so it's more or less straight and not have the little curve right there because I don't want that in the way when I'm trying to close my door. But for the most part, it's pretty smooth, man. Um, pretty straight, shall I say. And then, uh, like I said, as you can see, how closely that tucks into there. And like I said, if you get a little bit of adhesive outside of there, kind of like I did in a few of these areas, you can kind of trim that up because once it kind of cures, you can kind of pull it. It's almost kind of like a plastic dip, if you will. So you can kind of scrape off the excess, which I'll do there after a while, as you can see, well, that's already cured there. Like I said, you can just kind of pull that on off. But yeah, man, once you get it in there, should be pretty well good to go. You shouldn't have to worry about any issues outside of this right here, which again, that should still be straight, but we shall see. If I need to adjust it, I can still kind of adjust it because that 3M adhesive, that's a pretty, pretty strong bond. It doesn't take long to actually adhere and actually start bonding and holding on to whatever it is that you put it on. And then as you can see in this little area here, I'm gonna have to go in and clean that out in there. A lot of that adhesive kind of came out of there, which I actually shot a little bit back off in there to make sure that it actually stays back. So therefore it doesn't hit anything and keep the top from going in or keep the door from closing. So next project, which like I said, man, I got these uh, for about 55 bucks. Um, I'll drop the link in the description. So that way, if you guys just need this piece and you don't need all the rest of them, which should have got everything as a set, but I wanted to finish up my top so I can put uh, my headliner back in. So that's why I went ahead and got that. Um, I've already started pulling a lot of my uh, weather strip that goes around my doors. Let me get my camera back, right? Goes around my doors. I've already started pulling that. Pull out the rest of this. Need to pull my interior pieces back out so I can pull this and uh, get the rest of my weather strip on order. So that way I can do the rest of it. The back doesn't seem as bad, but there's a few areas like right in here where. Uh, I got water sitting off in there. I pulled it outside, so I need to get that out of there. Uh, but right in here, to where it kind of separated, uh, my dad kind of tried to fix it and put a little bit of uh, more weather stripping in there and kind of glued it down together, uh, which he said it never really leaked back here. So, I mean, if I can find just the pieces that I need that will go 
um, along the back, along the front windshield, and along the doors. I may get those and then see if I can salvage this back piece so that way I don't have to get the entire set. But if need be, and I have to get it, you know, even if it comes with the top pieces, then I may go ahead and do that. Just call it a day. You know what I mean? But once this cures, then I can spray my adhesive up here on top, my headliner back in, and that's another project that we have done.